What's up, modern standards? Morning. We got about an inch and a half of rain yesterday. That's crazy. But we got the structure up this morning. I'm gonna do a lot of prep work so when my buddy comes back over, we can be focusing on all the effort that two people can get done and all the stuff that one guy can do by themselves, all the prep work, all have done, and we can just optimize the time that we have for two guys. We're gonna get all the trusses up today. Fingers crossed. As I'm setting up my tools, I'm trying to keep an eye on my whole work area in the flow. I don't wanna set up my chops over, it's gonna be in the way for my truck to come in or to pile up other work materials. Let's see if we can do just as good on this side. Start straight and straight. Too bad. I came off at the bottom, kind of went like this. I'll take my grinder later on and I'll grind that down and get that nice and straight. But cutting through a 6x8 with a blade that's just really long enough to go through, I'm happy with that. Now we're just going to run a strong back up the center of our back wall so that way we'll have something to rest our first trust on while we're building the roof system. Just temporary bracing so it doesn't have to be anything special. This is left over from when we did our concrete slab. I'm gonna put a few screws in it. I'd recommend using screws since we are gonna be taking this back down after. Oh, did you touch the fence? So now when we stand our truss up, we got something to catch the very top part of the truss so it won't tip over and go over backwards. I might be over-engineering this a bit, but I'd rather know the structure's going to be here. I'd rather have an over-engineered project than an under-engineered one. help coming to help us set the trusses, but they won't be here for a little while. So I am kind of curious if I can do this by myself. Let's see if we can set one. This will be a fun challenge. First one's always the fun one. Close up. 
close. Now we gotta get up over on the other side of this two by eight. We're getting there. didn't work out, but we didn't get hurt. Alright, I think I got it figured out this time. One more shot. Like a glove, guys. Like a glove. So far. We just gotta make some adjustments. Well, we put it in place. Pluto, right here. We got all of our trusses up modern steaders. It might look a little goofy right now with all the different angles of the trusses and the overhang. But once we get this all done and sided, it's gonna look beautiful. I'm telling you, it's gonna be an awesome place to have the hand hewn farm three day pig harvesting class. So if you guys wanna ha have a fun class and have a great place to have it in, come on up to Lumna Acres. Let's go inside and I'll give you a brief little tour of what we got done. Well, the trusses we had were wider than what we wanted for a concrete slab. So we left the overhang and we can park the tractor under it, stack firewood, we could put an outdoor wood smoker out here for smoking meats. We have a lot more stuff we're going to be doing with the bottom structure. You're going to have to wait for videos for those. But here's the, we got them doubled up here. We got plenty of 
support here. This thing's never going anywhere. Pretty wild. The outdoor kitchen build's moving right along now. We're gonna order some tin for it tomorrow. I measured the length of the trusses. It should take around three days to get that in. Hopefully within a week, the outdoor kitchen will have a roof on it. All right. If you guys like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping our channel grow, and we thank you for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.